Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we shall be talking about tonsillitis and pharyngitis. Okay, this is very common this time because of the cold. Okay, cold weather. So we have already experienced tonsillitis, uh, pharyngitis in some point of their lifetime. Right now, I'm having mild tonsillitis and mild pharyngitis as well. Okay, that is the reason my voice is a bit uh, different. Uh, I'm having some sort of uh, discomfort in my throat. I'm having some added sound because of uh, some sort of mucus productions. Okay, so let us try to talk about what is pharyngitis. You are having nasopharynx, oropharynx, and hypopharynx. Okay, you are having nasopharynx, oropharynx, and hypopharynx. If you are having inflammation in here, that is known as pharyngitis. ITS, ITS means inflammation. Okay, now why will you have inflammation there? There are mainly three causes either due to a viral infection. Uh, bacterial infection or fungal infection okay so what are the symptoms of pharyngitis is very common you already know that you're having pharyngitis you already know that you're having tonsillitis because it is so common okay but still let us try to know what are the symptoms of pharyngitis you'll be having discomfort in your throat you'll be having discomfort in your throat then you can also have mild fever you can have fever okay along with this you can have um, pain in your throat you will be having pain in your throat along with this whenever you try to swallow something whenever you try to swallow something you will be having pain in your throat okay so these are the symptoms that you should know uh, this and you can also have some sort of swelling inside your throat okay these are the symptoms okay now what is the management what should you do at your home see if there is pain you can take painkillers that is you can very easily take paracetamol okay along with this paracetamol will also reduce the pain and also reduce the fever along with this you have to do bed rest along with this salt water gargle is very 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 important okay along with this uh, you should take good amount of fluids and nutrition food okay because what happens is that whenever you're having pain in your throat whenever you try to swallow something you're having this pain and you try to neglect taking food and taking water okay that is the reason you have to be more uh, alert in taking the food and uh, hydration sometimes the pain is uh, very severe and that time we use a uh, local anesthesia like uh, lidocaine jelly and place it on the pharynx okay and that area surrounding structure that area will become numb okay and you can very easily eat your food okay so what is the uh, medication see medications are uh, chances are less because your body can itself heal very easily okay but sometimes if the infection is very severe very very severe that time you need to take the medications okay those medications are generally you are given azithromycin or penicillin group of antibiotics okay now you let's talk about tonsillitis why am i talking tonsillitis and pharyngitis together because if you're having tonsillitis it's a very high chance that you'll have pharyngitis as well if you're having pharyngitis it's a very high chance that you uh, you'll have tonsillitis as well because it is uh, it goes hand in hand okay it is very very unlikely that you will, you will have only tonsillitis and only pharyngitis okay so what about tonsillitis now uh, tonsillitis means inflammation of tonsils if you open your mouth in front of the mirror if you're not having tonsillitis right now it is very difficult for you to see the tonsils in normal individual now if you're having tonsillitis you can see the tonsils okay how do you know that you're having tonsillitis if you press on the tonsils from the external source you'll have pain i'm having mild amount of tenderness because my tonsils are enlarged okay along with this i will be having fever okay i'll be i'll be having fever remember this fever you'll be having chills and rigor what is the meaning of chills this means all of a sudden you'll feel cold okay imagine walking in front of your ac you feel that chill sensation no that is chills and what is rigor? You'll be shaking, you'll be shivering. That is one of chills and rigor, okay? Chills means all of a sudden you're feeling cold and rigor means you are shivering. So you'll be having fever with chills and rigor. You can have sore throat. Again, you can have pain here, okay? And also if you are swallowing something, you'll be having pain, okay? And your tonsils will be enlarged. Now, if you open your mouth, your uvula will be congested, means will be red in color, okay? It'll be very shiny, the blood vessels will be very prominent, okay? And then sometimes you can see tonsil stones on the tonsils. Sometimes you can see a thin sheet of uh, whitish membrane. But the interesting thing is that if you try to rub it out, it will come out very, very, very easily. Okay. 
along with this if you are having tonsil stones in your tonsils no you will be having a foul smell in your breath okay you will be having foul smell in your breath okay now why can you have tonsillitis you can have tonsillitis due to a viral infection or a bacterial infection okay now what is the treatment of tonsillitis before i talk about the treatment of tonsillitis you should know there are four gradings of tonsillitis grade 1 means the tonsils are less than 25% bigger normal size there is tonsils but if the size of the tonsils is less than 25% then normal i mean if the growth of tonsils i'm sorry these and the tonsils have not enlarged more than 25% that is grade 1 if it has enlarged from 25 to 50% we say it as uh, grade 2 grade 3 is from 50 to 75% which is grade 3 and grade 4 is more than 75% enlarged in grade 4 sometimes tonsils become so big okay sometimes the tonsils they come together and touch each other that time these tonsils are known as kissing tonsils okay both the tonsils come together and touch each other that is a risky condition you might have obstruction in uh, breathing or you cannot eat anything you cannot uh, drink anything okay that's a problem so what is the treatment of tonsillitis again again bed rest you do gargles uh, if you're having pain take pain uh, paracetamol okay uh, you take good amount of fluids and water fluids and nutrition and if you need to take if the infection is very severe then you are supposed to take uh, antibiotics yes but any anti any medication you need to do and all that you should go and meet your doctor first okay uh, what antibiotics mostly likely it is a penicillin group of antibiotics i have a photo i'll show you what does the stone in the tonsils look like okay this is the stone in the tonsil these are the white you know the white 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 stones these are the stone okay this is an enlarged tonsil and this is the uvula okay you can see this white stone you can if you, if you remove the stones this stones will uh, smell very bad okay and uh, this is your pharyngitis see this is a uvula it is and this is your pharynx okay this is so much congested why am i saying it congested because you see it is so red in color uh, so shiny and it is also looks like swelling it is having uh, inflammation and you can also see the blood vessels are so 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 prominent okay i think you can appreciate on the camera but the blood vessels will be very much prominent as compared to a normal individual so if you're not having this infection right now you're supposed to go and see inside your mouth how does your uh, tonsil looks like how does your pharynx looks like then if you have this when you open your mouth in front of the uh, mirror you can say oh the blood vessels are more prominent it's more red more congestion okay that is what you can know that you are having this okay that's all for now about tonsillitis and uh, pharyngitis very very common just remember take good amount of fluids good amount of uh, for nutrition take bed rest if you're having pain uh, having pain take uh, paracetamol and uh, take warm uh, liquids okay and sometimes also if you want you can use uh, antiseptic solution to wash your face uh, sorry your mouth that is your chlorohexidine you can use that along with this uh, uh, you can also use ginger you know it's it's uh, it's good ginger is very good okay you can also sometimes use honey okay so uh, uh, along with this uh, you please uh, use the salt water it's very 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 effective okay because whenever you're using salt and mixing in water you're taking it you no know, the bacteria or the microorganism that the cell wall the uh, the uh, the fluids inside the cell wall of the organism that has been sucked out by this salt that is the reason that organism dies off so it is very very effective okay you have to do salt water gargle do it multiple times in a day you use one around one teaspoon in one cup or one glass of water warm water and gargle it and do it multiple times it's very 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 effective okay salt water gargle you can take honey you can take uh, ginger you can take for pain you can take for a pain you can take paracetamol and uh, this thing in bed rest okay and you have to make sure that you're eating good amount of food and good amount of fluids fluids is very very necessary okay that's all for now thank you so much for listening i'll see you in the next video thank you